Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to talk about the latest official stable update for the Pocophone F1 that is 10.3.6. Now consider this a full blown review minus the 5 point ROM review system because that gets very hectic and doesn't really deliver the message to you guys. Now I've been using this particular software or updates in the last 3 or 4 days on my last road trip and I've been pleasantly surprised with it so I've tested the camera and a few other things, the battery backup, the Antutu to score, AI2 to score, I have gamed on it. So all in all this is a full blown review for this particular update and I can assure you guys that now all the here's and there's are taken care of so from today onwards you will have an upload every single morning at 9am that is a premiere in which I may or may not join you guys to accompany you the viewing experience. Now before we do all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's get going Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to talk about the latest update for the Pocophone F1 that is 10.3.6. Now I know this update has been out for a while, a lot of people have reviewed it, shared their experiences and I'm a little late on this video but that's completely fine because I got my hands on this particular update a little late, I was disconnected and stuff like that. Nonetheless, my opinion is my opinion and it may be different from others. So if we go to about phone over here, you do see that we have a June security patch and it is still of course running Android 9 Pi. This is of course a 6 gigabyte variant with 64 gigabytes of internal storage. Now what are the other highlights of this particular software update is what you would ask me. One, we don't have a dark mode. Two, we don't have an always on display. Always on display is completely fine because this is not an AMOLED panel. This is an LCD panel and if we were to keep always on display active it would drain a hell lot of battery as it is i have a lot of people complaining about the battery backup on this particular device when it comes to the latest update now the next question that you guys have for this particular update is should you guys upgrade it well that is something i will answer towards the end of this video because now we're going to talk about the ghost touch issue and uh, the touch freeze issue and all the other problems so first things first you have a ghost touch issue and you want that to be fixed. Now, I don't really have that problem and even if I would have had, Xiaomi have recently replaced the display for me because of the screen bleeding issue. That issue is still there to some extent, but this update has improved the touch latency or the touch fix has been applied in this particular update is what I would say. And the smoothness, the snappiness of this particular update is much better compared to 10.3.5. At the same time, there were a few people who had the low earpiece volume or low speaker volume issue with the last 10.3.5 update. And there were a few people who said that they did not get the update. That, that is because there was a beta stable update. And this update, well, you should have received it because it is rolling out to almost everyone. So yes, of course, no dark mode but once again to answer your question will the method of enabling dark mode using adb command work on this particular update yes it should now apart from this what we have over here is a uh, same settings menu everything is exactly the same but if we talk about the battery backup i did notice it is slightly better compared to what it used to be earlier and uh, I've not had heating issues, I've not had severe battery drain issues, touch freezing issues or while playing PUBG as I mentioned earlier, I've not had any ghost touch issues as well. Now when we talk about the camera over here, the camera is exactly the same. Maybe a few things might have changed here and there but the camera experience has been extremely good. As you can see I was on a road trip recently and a lot of pictures has been, have been clicked using this particular phone and in almost all lightning conditions this device fared better than the Note 7 Pro is the other device that we had. So yes, when it comes to this particular update of 10.3.6, the camera is performing good, the gaming experience is great. Now, when we talk about the benchmark numbers, if we have a look at Antutu over here, we do have a strong and solid 286,317. Now that is not as high as one of the previous updates because I used to get around 293 to 295. But what my belief is that Antutu numbers or you know synthetic benchmark numbers don't really 
correspond to real world usage so that's antutu over there we have also you know done a test run on ai22 which is a benchmark for artificial intelligence and in this we got 93,769 and there is the breakup of that particular score. Now one other thing that is missing over here is we still don't have persistent or permanent notifications. So not only we don't have dark mode but we don't have permanent notifications in MIUI till now. So maybe dark mode and permanent notifications should, should make their way through to our phones in MIUI 11. When is the beta coming? When is MIUI 11 coming for POCO? Please don't ask me, I don't really know that. One other thing that I have noticed in this particular update is that the auto brightness is much, much better. Auto brightness is handled in a much better way compared to what it used to be earlier. And apart from this, fast charging works. The fast charging animation is still there. Everything else works flawlessly. To me, you know, nothing looks broken. You can definitely go ahead and install this update. There should not be any problem at all. And when it comes to PUBG, well, I have been playing PUBG on this particular phone. As you can see, I do have PUBG Mobile and PUBG Mobile Lite as well. And the gaming booster works perfectly fine. Screen recording works fine. and. The FPS counter is something I have not installed yet, but yes, I will go ahead and make a separate video on, on it, apart from the inbuilt FPS counter, if you consider that as a FPS counter as well. Now, apart from the gaming experience, overall the network connectivity is slightly better and slightly stronger compared to what it used to be in the previous version. And as you can see, PUBG has launched over here and if I were to play a game, I don't really really have a problem. Now last but not the least, if you want to install this update, you can go ahead and install it using TWRP Custom Recovery. At the same time, if you're on one of the latest updates, you can go to System Update over here. You can press these three dots and you can go ahead and update it from here as well. If you don't have that Choose Update Package option, you can just keep tapping it and advanced additional update features are turned on. So you can go ahead and choose update package and then you can select the full ROM file and you should be good to go. So all in all with this particular software update, it gets a big thumbs up from me for the Pocophone F1. If you want to use it with the Poco as a daily driver with no frills at all, well absolutely go ahead and install it. All your questions have been answered. Maybe tomorrow there is another video coming up in which I will talk to you guys about all the questions that you guys have been asking me repeatedly in the comments section for this particular device. And very important questions like best gaming ROM, best custom ROM, best kernel will be answered in that particular video. And a lot of exciting things have been shot and they will be released every day at nine in the morning. So if you like this video, please hit the like button because it really, really helps the channel a lot and it doesn't cost you anything. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.